Hello guys, welcome back to our project library management system. Uh, so in the previous video, we did the code for staff details button and uh, uh, today we will be doing the code for uh, like add staff. Okay, so till now we have completed these four things. Okay, so today we will be doing this. Okay, add staff. So let's see this. So again, you'll have to just create the GUI forms and the JFrame. Okay, so I've already done it. Uh, I, I I like uh, I do this to save our time, uh, your time and my time. If I go on like uh, doing the whole stuff in the video itself, then the uh, length of the video will be uh, too large. Okay, so that's why I create it first and then I'll just in the video I try to explain everything. Okay, so yeah, this is the design. Uh, this is just a label uh, as you can like drag it from here and uh, then you can you know set the size as per your choice and then uh, give whatever text you want okay you don't need to like uh, uh, do anything for, for this label like uh, uh, renaming it or uh, like coding for it so uh, label is just uh, one simple you know uh, field where you can just write your things okay so yeah and uh, similarly give uh, these three like uh, labels uh, as given it staff id name and contact because as you can see over here in our uh, table uh, staff we have uh, three columns name staff id name and contact so in order to like uh, add a new staff you will have to the, ad uh, the admin will have to provide these three informations uh, staff ID, name, and contact. Okay, only then we will be able to store that uh, detail into our table. Okay, and then this is the text field. Okay, so T1, T2, and T3. And this is the these two, two other buttons, uh, V1 and V2. Uh, this button is the add button. Uh, after clicking this, uh, the details will be added to the uh, table and cancel button to just cancel this window. Okay. So let's see the code for add button first. So obviously, first of all, we will have to import these two packages. Okay. Uh, and uh, this thing, I've already told you that uh, after closing this particular window, I don't want my program to uh, let, uh, like get terminated. Okay. I want to go back to the dashboard. So in order to do that, I'll, I'll have to use this dispose on close. Uh, see what uh, does it does okay dispose on close is a method which just disposes this particular okay this particular window it does not terminate the whole program instead of this if you uh, like use exit on close there is another method as dot exit on close this will just terminate your whole program okay uh, it will just close all the windows and so if that's why instead of exit on close, we use dispose on close. Okay, set default close operation. Uh, add staff, this is the class name that uh, you have taken. Okay, dot dispose on close. Now come to the uh, main coding of the add button. Okay, so again, the URL, okay, the user uh, ID, like uh, root, uh, in my case, for you, it can be different as well, uh, password, your password not mine okay and uh, query query is just a simple uh, simple one insert into staff values we have already seen this in our ad books as well okay so uh, i'll try to like explain everything again over here in case if i miss something or you don't get it properly you can go back to uh, this ad books uh, video and you can watch it over here over there you'll understand it uh, clearly okay so insert into staff values and in this uh, bracket we give the value that we need to add okay uh, usually in this uh, database when we like add uh, any data to a table using this uh, mysql we we give the values directly in this uh, bracket but here we are not like hard coding the values by ourselves uh, instead we are taking the values from the user uh, that is the admin okay so for that reason, the syntax is just uh, question mark. And how many question mark? Uh, so the number of columns that you have in your table, okay, separated by commas, okay. 
so insert into staff this is the uh, table name and values keep this in mind this is uh, s is present over here it is not just value it is values and in, then in the bracket uh, number of uh, the question mark is equal to the number of columns that you uh, that is present in the table okay and uh, see one thing is missing over here we have to give a uh, semicolon as well okay uh, because this is the exact uh, query that will be executed in the database so we need to keep it uh, perfectly all right otherwise we will get uh, errors okay so yeah and uh, now see we are taking the id over here see i'll show you the design staff id so we are uh, taking this input in this id okay t1 uh, using the t1.get text so we have used string okay so why so because uh, you can see over here the staff id and name uh, these two columns are of type uh, string let me show you that you can check it by just using this code in your mysql dsc uh, and the table name okay staffs and see field and type so field is staff id uh, staff id is of type varchar name is also of type varchar and contact is of the type in okay so that's why we are using string over here so we are taking the string input so just t1 dot get text uh, for name as uh, name we are taking string again and t2 dot get text for the contact we need to take it as in okay and uh, uh, yeah so in so integer dot parsing uh, we are passing the see that uh, text field uh, in the text field anything that is inputted by the you know user is of the type string so uh, here we wanted string values only so that's why we just uh, use t1 dot get text but over here we need uh, integer value okay so but the uh, value that is input by the uh, inputted by the user is of the type string so we will have to pass it to integer so that's why we are using this uh, integer dot pass in and t3 dot get type okay so uh, we have all these three id name and contact with us so now let's uh, begin our main code okay so in the trial block First of all, we will create the connection. So connection call is equal to driver manager dot get connection. Uh, use URL, user and password. See, uh, this is also important that you keep this in order. Okay, first URL, then user, and then password. Okay, uh, otherwise it will get wrong. Okay, then uh, we will be using prepared statement. Okay, uh, I've just, I've explained this in uh, ad books as well. So we use this, uh, you know. Uh, class to create uh, to execute our uh, query uh, while adding into it adding any value to the table so prepared statement stm is equal to con con this is the object that we created over here of the connection type the prepare call and we pass the query over here so in this uh, stm dot set string set string again because uh, the first uh, staff id okay the staff id was of the type string so that's why it's string and see this number this is uh, used to indicate the uh, column number okay so in the first column we need to uh, give this value id okay this id value so that's why one comma id in the second column again we have to uh, give name okay so two of uh, see uh, why this is important if i like to place this statement after this okay so still it will work why because this number is representing in which uh, column this value has to go so in this uh, we are like uh, we have written one over here so this id will go into first column only and after this we have written three so this value will go to the third uh, column only. Uh, it's not that uh, this statement is uh, written first, so this will go to the first column, and this is written second, uh, like in the second line, so it will go to the second column. It's not like that. It is this number that uh, you know uh, tells the the code 
that uh, where it has to go okay so this uh, and so uh, see in the second column we will send the name okay and in the third column uh, that is the contact uh, it is of type uh, integer so we have used set dot in and the column number is three and uh, we are sending the uh, value contact this one okay over here so we just need to send these three values because the number of columns is three and staff table so after giving these values i'll uh, uh, execute this code so stm dot execute this will execute the code and after that i will show one message that uh, yeah one staff added successfully okay so j option pane dot show message dialog uh, one staff added successfully and after adding the staff we will like uh, uh, we will you know uh, empty this uh, text field we will clear this text field so for that we will use this e one dot set text and null null will just come like to just give braces okay and this will also work or you can just give as null okay so both you can do either null or just uh, you know and empty you know empty this double column okay so yeah even t2 and t3 are set to null and in the cache block again we will show one message okay uh, for the user so and after that for this cancel button one line of code this dot dispose and uh, i yeah i told this earlier as well and uh, now in the dashboard see the code for this add staff button is completed now in the dashboard uh, we'll have to give the code for this uh, add staff button that uh, uh, after clicking this button we should go go to the add staff window okay so for that uh, we will create this uh, one object of staff the add table add staff okay add staff is the class that we have created right now and this is the object staff and we just will set it visible so staff dot set visible and here true if you uh, like give false over here then it will not uh, you know set visible okay it will hide so staff dot set visible true okay so now it's uh, ready to be executed so i'll just run the program and i'll show you so username is satish at the rate one two three and password is one two three four five so i'll log in so before adding i'll show you the staff details first the so staff details see we have five stars okay raga kumar prakash kumar shobhit trivedi ajay singh and umesh chha okay so i'll be adding one staff over here so staff id is uh, about s006 and name let's i take my name aman and contact whatever i just give one okay and add okay so see one uh, staff added successfully okay and cancel and uh, let's see the staff details now so staff details and fetch see one row has been added over here that is uh, staff id is 006 name aman and contact is this so yeah this was the code for the add staff button okay and now in the next video uh, we will be uh, working on this remove books button okay so yeah let's meet in our next video thank you